For the past three years, Mastermind Studios has been passionately writing and producing an in-depth feature-length documentary film about the extreme climate impacts and climate change events on Pacific salmon populations in BC's interior and the efforts of our region's indigenous caretakers to rebuild the salmon natal stream habitat that has been devastated by floods, heat domes, drought and forest fires. This documentary narrated by our elder and friend, Dr. Margaret Vickers Hislop, is called If Salmon Could Talk. We hope to have it completed by the end of 2023. The work could not have been undertaken without the incredible collaboration of the BC Conservation Foundation, the Shipquamek Fisheries Commission, to Kumloops to Shipquamek, Skeetitson Indian Band, Simk First Nation, Little Shushwap Lake Band, the Adams River Salmon Society, and Thompson Rivers University's Natural Resources Department. We're honored to be able to show you an excerpt from this film. In the beginning, when this world was only a dream, the Great Spirit formed the land from the body of our Mother Earth. The mountains rose from her ancient skin, and rivers carved their winding paths through her flesh, like arteries and veins moving life force through the land. This sacred land now called Turtle Island, cradled the heartbeat of all our relations, the four-legged ones, the winged ones, the finned ones, our rooted and our non-rooted relations. Here, in the lush embrace of an area now called British Columbia, nature's symphony plays out in harmony, guided by ancient wisdom of ages past. The towering cedars and mighty firs stand as ancient sentinels, guardians of a delicate balance with every creature, every whispering leaf, weaving the intricate tapestry of life. Among these currents, an elder of the waters emerges, the salmon, a venerable species that has danced through the ages long before humans set foot upon this land. The salmon journeyed from river to sea and back again. Their existence etched into the very spirit of this earth. The youngest of species, we two-leggeds, came later, mere newcomers to this ancient stage. We found ourselves surrounded by the blessings of Mother Nature, embraced by her generosity and grace. Our ancestors walked these shores, carrying the teachings of respect and reciprocity, treading lightly upon the earth. The salmon, wise elder of the waters, now robed in its role as a keystone species, is a thread that binds the very fabric of life. A heartbeat 
of the ecosystem. The salmon's annual journey nourishes the land. Today, the sun's golden rays paint the horizon. We gather to honor this sacred cycle. We celebrate the salmon's return as humble participants in its grand design. For the land does not belong to us. We belong to the land. story is when the creator made man. Man was made out of mud and then they wanted to give man a voice. So they took the voice of the salmon. So when you see salmon in the creek or in the water they're going like that. They can't talk anymore because their voice was given. <laughs> 